what it is what it do i made one this is the division and in today's video i wanted to share with you all some new information that i came across in regards to the new named weapons and the named gear more specifically i'm going to be showing you where you can get each of these new items but before we get started i wanted to give a big shout out to each and every one of my new subscribers we finally passed the 18,000 subscriber mark I really appreciate all the support you guys have been showing so yeah we just passed 18,000 subscribers I think I may try to do something special for you guys sometime this week to celebrate and also for my new subscribers who aren't really here for the division no worries guys I'll continue uploading the other games that I play as well Anyways, like I said, I'm going to be showing you where you can get the new named weapons and named gear. First, we're going to start off with the named weapons. And I'll leave a link to where I got all this info in the description if you want to go check it out. But it came from a guy over there on Reddit who always makes these types of posts on Reddit. So shout out to this guy as well. But yeah, first we're going to start off with the named weapons. When it comes to the Tommy gun, it can drop from the Dark Zone Supply Drops. When it comes to the Thompson M1928, you can definitely get it from underground caches. And you may or may not also be able to get it from the dark zone within survival. If you all were able to get it in the dark zone within survival, be sure to let us know in the comments below. But as of right now, it seems like the only way you can get it is from underground caches. As for the Urban MDR, that one can be found in survival caches. And when it comes to the Golden Rhino, you can get this from the boss in the Dragon's Nest incursion. And I know the FAMAS isn't a named weapon, but I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be asking about it. So if you're wondering how to get the FAMAS, it basically drops anywhere in World Tier 5. It can drop from any named boss or any incursion. So I know it's not a named weapon, but I had a feeling people were going to ask. And before we move on to the named gear, again, if you all know of any other places where you can get these items, be sure to let us know in the comments below. All right, so when it comes to the named gear, you can get the Colonel Bliss's holster. After defeating Colonel Bliss and destroying his helicopter in the General Assembly mission on challenge difficulty. And as of right now, I believe this General Assembly doesn't have a challenge mode yet, but it should be getting fixed very soon. As of right now, I haven't heard of anybody getting it from General Assembly mission on hard difficulty. If you all were able to get it from the General Assembly on hard, be sure to let us know in the comments below. You can also get Colonel Bliss's holster from field proficiency steeled caches or survival caches. When it comes to Pharaoh's oxygen mask, you can get it from Joe Pharaoh in the Napalm production site on hard difficulty. You can also get it from field proficiency sealed caches or survival caches. When it comes to Barrett's Bulletproof Vest, you can get that from LaRae Barrett on the Lexington Event Center on Challenging Difficulty. And just like all of the other named gear, you can also get it from Field Proficiency Sealed Caches or Survival Caches. When it comes to the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag, you can get that from any named boss within the Dark Zone. And you can also get them from Survival Caches or Field Proficiency Sealed Caches. When it comes to the Short Bow Championship Pads, you can get them from Hutch, who's the named boss on the roof at the end of the Madison Field Hospital mission on hard difficulty. And again, you can get those from field proficiency seal caches and survival caches. And as for the last one, which is the Skulls MC gloves, you can get them from pretty much any named boss or high value target. And you can also get these gloves from survival caches or field proficiency seal caches. So as of right now, these are the only ways that we know of to get these new named weapons and named gear. Again, if y'all know of any other ways or if they come out with a patch introducing new ways, be sure to let us know in the comments below. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. If y'all enjoyed it or found it useful, don't forget to do what you do. I'm May One. Thanks for watching.